Welcome back. Low prisoner admissions and high criminal case dismissals. Those are just two of the reasons Governor DeSantis cited for removing a second state attorney from office. New tonight, investigative reporter Katie Legrone digs into these numbers. Prosecutors have a duty to faithfully enforce the law. Low prosecution numbers. That's among the reasons Florida Governor Ron DeSantis described Orange and Osceola State Attorney Monique Worrell as leaving him with no other choice but to remove her from a position she was elected to by voters in Central Florida. We had a duty to act to protect the public from this dereliction of duty. Ms. Worrell failed to do the job for which she was elected. Florida's Attorney General then citing state numbers that show since World took over the Ninth Circuit in 2021, her office has either dismissed or dropped more criminal cases than any other current state attorney in Florida, with over 61% of them violent felonies, above the statewide average. Same for juvenile cases, where according to the state report released earlier this year, World's District had by far the highest number of felony juvenile cases that were dropped or not filed at all. Worrell is a Democrat whose campaign promise included reducing the number of people imprisoned. Ms. Worrell has made justice in the Ninth Circuit almost an arbitrary coin flip. Comparing the rates at which cases are dismissed or charged uh, from one dis circuit to another circuit is a crude measure. What I'm hearing from you is that it's not an accurate measure of performance. It's a measure of policy. It certainly isn't an indication that she's not doing her job because the job of a prosecutor includes deciding whether to file charges. David Allen Skolansky is a criminal law professor at Stanford University and says properly measuring the performance of a state attorney doesn't rest on a few stats, but a range of factors, including conviction and acquittal rates, plea deals, and racial disparities among defendants charged. I think that um, the, the, the numbers that the governor's uh, uh, office put together are relevant in assessing the job that the state's attorney is doing. But as, I, as I've said, I think that what they seem to show here is that this prosecutor is following through on her campaign promises. Florida leads the nation in the numbers of people incarcerated, but yet crime still happens. Worrell, whose failure to prosecute cases has also been criticized by some Central Florida law enforcement, was quick to defend her track record and her mission. The lock them up and throw away mentality cannot be the thing that works. A mission she now believes has left her a political victim to a state governor who maintains removing her was a matter of protecting the public. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.